Welcome to this Schlage video on Residential Construction Keying, or RCK for short. This video will provide basic instruction for creating a residential construction key system or project. In this video, you will learn the concept of master and residential construction keying, how to read a RCK keying chart, and how to repin a cylinder for RCK. Let's get started. Generally, a lock is keyed to a single and unique key cut, and only that key configuration will operate the lock. However, when a lock is master keyed or construction keyed, the lock can be operated by more than one key, each with its own unique key cut. RCK is most commonly used on construction sites, where one key is used to access many homes during construction, and a separate key with a different key cut is used to provide homeowner access to a single property. Before illustrating in more detail how master keying and RCK work, let's first describe how a regular keyed cylinder works. A regular keyed cylinder has bottom pins, top pins, and springs in the chambers of the cylinder. The bottom pins are different lengths and coincide with the depths of the cuts on the key. When a correct key is inserted into a lock, the bottom pins are raised to become level with the shear line. This allows the cylinder plug to rotate freely within the cylinder. When a lock is master keyed, master pins are used to create multiple shear lines. The master pins are different lengths, just like the bottom pins. So, in this example, one key unlocks the lock at this shear line, while a different key unlocks the lock at this shear line. Schlage's RCK system is based on the lost ball method of construction keying. Small holes are pre-drilled into the side of the pin chambers in the cylinder plug. During pinning, three small ball bearings are placed inside one of the pin chambers. If an RCK system also utilizes master keying, four ball bearings may be used. When the construction key is inserted, the ball bearings line up with the shear line and the plug is free to turn similar to how a master pin works. After construction, when the homeowner's key is inserted for the first time, the ball bearings rise above the shear line. As the plug turns, the bearings ride on top of the plug and drop into the pre-drilled holes and are trapped permanently, voiding the construction key combination. At Schlage, you can order locks that are already pinned for RCK, or you can order an RCK system that you re-pin in the field. If you choose to order the field keying, you receive bidding and pinning transcripts to assist you in cutting keys and repinning cylinders for your RCK system. For help with ordering an RCK system, contact your Schlage sales representative or contact Schlage customer service at 800-847-1864. Creating an RCK system is easy and consists of two basic activities, cutting the construction and homeowner's keys and pinning the cylinders. Let's take a closer look at the documents you'll receive with your RCK system. We'll begin with the bidding transcript. On this document, you can find your construction key cut and all homeowner cuts. Homeowner keys are referred to as change keys. You can use these numbers to cut the keys for your RCK system. The pinning transcript provides you with the details of how the locks in your system should be pinned. We'll get into more details about the pinning transcript soon. Before you can begin pinning, you'll need to remove the lock cylinder from the door hardware and remove the plug from the cylinder. If you need more information about removing cylinders, re-keying, or reassembling the locks, go to schlage.com. Pinning begins with determining pin sizes and chamber locations for the bottom pins, construction balls, and any master pins. The bidding and pinning transcripts make this process simple. The pin numbers are displayed on the keying chart from left to right. The first number corresponds to chamber 1, the second chamber 2, and so on. The bottom row lists the bottom pins. The second row, noted as master, lists the construction balls. The third row, also noted as master, lists the master pins. The top row lists top pins. Because all Schlage cylinders are preloaded with top pins and springs, and because removing and changing the top pins in a basic RCK system is unnecessary, you'll only need to load bottom pins, construction balls, and master pins. 
As mentioned earlier, you can find the key number for the construction key on the bidding transcript under Construction Keys and homeowner key numbers are found on the bidding transcript under Change Keys. Key names on the bidding transcript coincide with the cylinder names on the pinning transcript. Let's look at the first owner key combination on the pinning transcript. Because this RCK system example has multiple locks that all utilize the same construction key, the system also utilizes master pins so that each lock can be operated by a different homeowner key. An asterisk in a column indicates which chamber will contain the three or four construction balls. In this example, the construction balls will go in chamber three and will sit above the bottom pin. An X indicates that nothing is placed in that spot in the chamber. An X in this master pin row indicates no master pin is used in the third chamber. To begin loading the pins, hold the empty plug in one hand with the keyway to your left. The chamber numbers can then be read from left to right. First, load the bottom pins with the pointed tip down into the appropriate chambers. Zero in chamber one, seven in chamber two, six in chamber three, one in chamber four, and zero in chamber five. Next, place the construction balls on top of the bottom pin in the indicated chamber. It's very important that the construction balls are placed on top of the bottom pins and that you use three of them in the chamber. Now, Load the master pins according to the chart. A two in chamber one, two in chamber two, no master pin in chamber three, two in chamber four, and eight in chamber five. You can now reinsert the loaded plug into the cylinder body. Keep the plug slightly rotated and slide the plug into the body, pushing the follower bar out the opposite end. Turn the plug until the pins line up and lock. Finish reassembling the cylinder. Finally, insert the construction key and make sure that the lock operates properly. Testing the homeowner key is important but do it very carefully. Insert the homeowner key in the lock and rotate it counterclockwise, just enough to see if the key is working. Do not over-rotate, or you'll cancel the construction key by allowing the construction balls to fall out of the pin chamber. Now, replace the cylinder into the door hardware. As you finish each lock assembly, be sure to mark the cylinder number and project name on the product box. Cross the key combination off the bidding chart and the pinning chart so no combination is duplicated. Now you can move on to the next lock. And that's all there is to it. Residential construction keying provides an efficient and secure method to manage a variety of project sites, large or small, from construction to close. Thanks for watching, and thanks for choosing Schlage. For more information, visit schlage.com.